The arrival of DDR5 opens the door to higher performance levels, but early production pains have led to shortages in scalper level pricing. That said, DDR5 pricing will eventually fall to something resembling a sane amount, and when that happens, you'll need to determine if it's worth it to step up to one of the best RAM kits available. But, of course, you also have to determine if there's a big enough performance gain to justify the upgrade. DDR5 comes with many promises, but one of its most significant selling points is the higher level of bandwidth that can feed to processors with tons of cores. Memory bandwidth has become increasingly important as today's modern chips can reach up to 16 cores for mainstream PC. But it's common sense that new hardware can struggle compared to hardware that has hit enough time to mature. For instance, first-gen DDR4 couldn't compete with the best DDR3 back in the day, and many wonder if history will repeat itself with DDR5. Specifications The DDR5 memory standard promises us a future of denser memory stacks, which ultimately equates to more memory capacity in your system. DDR4 stopped at 16 gigabit memory chips, but DDR5 can use up to 64 gigabit memory chips. The latter also supports die stacking with up to 8 dies on a chip, meaning DDR5 can top out at 2 TB per module. That'll be for servers that come with LR DENs. DDR5 will probably stop at 128 GB per stick in the mainstream market. That density is still far off on the horizon, though, as the initial DDR5 memory modules use 16 gigabit memory chips so we'll see maximum tamer capacities of 32 GB in the near term. If we look at the JEDEC, Joint Electron Device Engineering Council specification, DDR4 data rate span from DDR4-1600 up to DDR4-3200. Therefore, it's easy to think of DDR5 as a continuation of DDR4 since DDR5 starts at DDR5-3200 and spans up to DDR5-6400. However, looking back at the beginning of the DDR4 era, DDR4-1600 memory never became a thing. Instead, DDR4-2133 served as the baseline for DDR4. DDR5 follows a similar pattern. Although JEDEC has specified data rates as low as DDR5-3200, the starting point for many, if not all, mainstream DDR5 products is DDR5-4800. Unlike the last transition from DDR3 to DDR4, DDR5 doesn't have more pins than its predecessor. Instead, DDR5 retains the arrangement with 288 pins, but the pinouts are different. As a result, the position of the notch has changed and will help prevent less experienced users from trying to insert a DDR5 memory module into a DDR4 slot, or vice versa. That's only a small change, though. The real game changer resides at an architectural level that you don't see on the outside of the dam. G Skill Trident Z5 RGB DDR5 6000 C36, best of the best. Intel's 12th gen Alder Lake processors are the first consumer chips to arrive with DDR5 support. Intel has beat AMD to this one, so we paired the flagship core in an E12900K processor with G Skill's Trident Z5 DDR5 6032 GB memory kit. It's a dual channel memory kit with two 16 GB DDR5 memory modules with a single rank design. By default, the Trident Z5 RGB memory modules operate at DDR4-4800 at 1.1V with JEDEC timings. The XMP3.0 profile quickly brings the Trident Z5 RGB up to speed for DDR5-6000 with timings configured to 36-36-36-76 and the DRAM voltage at 1.3V. There are faster DDR5 kits, but the Trident Z5 comes with generous overclocking headroom. We didn't have any problems pushing it to higher data rates for our tests. MSI MAG690 Tomahawk Wi-Fi, brothers from another mother. Throughout the DDR evolution, we've seen some manufacturers offer a combination of new and legacy RAM support on some motherboards. In the past, it wasn't unusual to find motherboards that supported both DDR and DDR2. We saw the same trends with DDR2 and DDR3, and even DDR3 and DDR4. However, we don't expect to see a hybrid motherboard for DDR5 due to the voltage regulations migration over to the dam. It's just too complex for both technologies to live in harmony on a single motherboard. We use MSI MAG690 Tomahawk Wi-Fi motherboard in both DDR4 and DDR5 flavors. They are essentially the same motherboard with different RAM slots, making them directly comparable to each other. It helps us eliminate or reduce the performance delta to a minimum instead of using two different motherboards from different brands or product tiers. The MAG690 Tomahawk Wi-Fi implements MSI Memory Boost technology, 
consisting of optimized memory circuits to supply pure data signals. In addition, the DDR4 and DDR5 motherboards bring DDR4-5200 and DDR5-6400 support, respectively, which is more than sufficient for our needs. Test System and Methodology To ensure a level playing field, both DDR4 and DDR4 memory modules must operate in a similar configuration with identical density and an equal number of memory ranks. Modern DDR4 16GB memory modules can feature single rank, 1Rs8, or dual rank designs with 16 gigabit and 8 gigabit IC, respectively. DDR5 16 GB memory modules, on the contrary, only come in a single rank layout with 16 gigabit chips. Therefore, we compared the single rank 32 GB to 16 GB DDR5 memory with an equivalent single rank 32 GB to 16 GB DDR4 memory kit for an apples to apples comparison. On the DDR4N, we use Crucial's Ballistics Max RGB DDR4-4032 GB memory kit with two 16 GB single rank DDR4 memory modules, so there's no better point of comparison. The Ballistics Max RGB memory modules are suitable for DDR4-4000 at 1.35V and 18-19-1939 timings. We are almost wrapping up. These are the common differences between these two. Hope you like this video. Please comment. Share and subscribe to this channel for more videos.